Peace lovies, it's Amira, also known as Blissfully Mindful, back at you with another Eating Mindfully video. As promised, I am showing you my homemade bread, so stay tuned. Hey lovies, how have you all been? I had to come pop back in here and show you how I make my bread. And I just wanted to chit chat really because I haven't really been in here chit chatting much lately. So I figured why not do that and show you my recipe at the same time. So that's what I'm doing. Haven't been doing too, too much. Um, you know, still tending to my garden, trying to figure that out and I haven't really come up with too many new recipes lately. I've been just kind of doing the old faithful ones, but um, I did um, do some cheating. <laughs> like over the holiday, I just had to cheat a little. So I did kind of step away for a couple days um, from the alkaline diet, just for a couple days though, um, over the holidays. And honestly, I'm, I do the little cheats anyway, like I told you when I eat out probably eat out know, like once a week or whatever. So it's not really too far fetched, but I'm still on track for the most part with my alkaline diet and I'm still kind of on the hunt for some good recipes. It is so uh, very difficult, but um, I'm still working on it. I have not given up. I won't give up. I'm just going to keep on keeping on, um, you know, working on finding some recipes to make this easier. Um, at this point, honestly, I'm just kind of getting used to the lifestyle and just, I don't know, I guess I'm coming into alignment with it and less resistance than before and just kind of accepting that it is what it is and <laughs> that the limitation and choices are what they are and I just kind of deal with it and just kind of work with what I have and I have kind of gotten accumulated like a list of favorites favorite like dishes that I kind of like to use so I've been kind of just sticking with that and getting into more of a routine with that we definitely do lots of smoothies and it's just a lot of prep work all the time, a lot of cooking, lots and lots of whole foods, fresh produce um, is pretty much the primary diet, lots of fruit as well. I do, like I said, as always, still kind of itching for some salty snacks. And I do a lot of that with my bread loaf that I make mostly every week. Sometimes I wait every two weeks to make my loaf of bread. Depends on how long it lasts, but... For the most part, I've kind of had to depend on that for my salty snack. So I'm looking for some other stuff, though, because I don't want to keep I don't know. I just don't want to be so dependent on the bread for a salty snack. But it's just been what it's been. Um, yeah. So anyway, that is that. And just kind of, I guess, blending this new lifestyle with my own personal lifestyle. I guess that's been kind of difficult just because most people around me are not alkaline so it does make it kind of difficult just surviving out here you know on this alkaline diet because most people just aren't um I notice sometimes people try to accommodate my plant-based diet, but you know, obviously my going alkaline has taken it to the next level. So that is kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit much because you kind of don't want to be that person in the group that is just like so difficult to accommodate all the time. And especially if you get like invited to events and invited to someone's house for, you know, a meal or just for whatever. And they just kind of feel like they got to go so far out the way to accommodate your very, you know, I don't know, very limited diet <laughs> because this one is so limited. And so I know I find that that's been like an issue. Like for instance, um, the other day 
someone tried to accommodate my diet and they're like, oh, you know, they were just so excited about what they did. They're like, yeah, you know, because they ordered food. So they're like, yeah, I ordered, um, I ordered you a veggie sandwich. And so I'm like, oh, OK. You know, I didn't really get my hopes up too much because people do that all the time. But usually they don't do it correctly. <laughs> so this time was no different. And she had ordered me a sandwich, but it was a mushroom sandwich and it had cheese though like you know regular cow cheese i'm like i don't eat that <laughs> so she's like oh i thought you were vegetarian i'm like yeah you know there, there's different levels of it and so you know i don't really do any meat products at all including dairy you know i don't i just don't you know it's not if it was like a vegan based plant-based cheese you know so i probably would have been able to indulge but it was wasn't. And on top of that, you know, either way, it just wasn't going to be alkaline anyway. And so that was like even more. And I, I didn't even mention that part because that would have just made it, it would have aggravated the situation even more. And I don't want to be, you know, I just don't want to be like someone that's just so difficult, you know, um, just to be around. I don't, I'm just not trying to have this lifestyle turn me into that. And so I've been kind of grappling with that and just trying to figure out how that's going to work in my social life. Because I, I don't know. I just don't know. Like if someone invites me somewhere or just wants to take me out to dinner, like a date or whatever, it, it doesn't matter what it is. It's like, I feel like I'm just kind of being difficult, <laughs> you know, and I don't want to feel like who I am is difficult because I'm not difficult. It's just that, you know, this is my new lifestyle and I'm going to have to kind of find a way to marry who I am, you know, who I am as a whole person, you know, with this new lifestyle and, you know, my social environment, because they kind of have to all go together. And I don't want to feel like I have to be compartmentalizing everything. So I'm just thinking about that. And it was funny because I was also having a conversation just like, you know, like dating. How does that work? Because I... I don't know. I cannot see myself like being with somebody that is not, first of all, that's not plant-based. And second of all, someone that is not like open-minded because obviously this lifestyle that I've chosen requires someone to be very open-minded. And I don't know, that's going to be, it'll be interesting. <laughs> you know, it'll be interesting, but I know facts. I cannot like, I definitely can't see myself being with someone that eats uh, animal based food. I just absolutely that's that's just like absolute like I cannot do that. You know, I know that much. It's just that, you know, how um, I don't know how intense is it going to get? Like, is it going to get to the point where because I don't know, this is I'm just embarking on this journey uh, as far as the alkaline perspective. So I don't know, am I going to get that picky where like, you know, oh, I only can see myself being with someone who's plant based. But then am I going to be like, and you know, they need to be alkaline too, because or at least fruitarian or something like that, you know, like, I just cannot see myself with someone that just can't commit to this all the way. And like really commit to their health and their life and their, you know, and their livelihood. And I don't know, I don't want to be like that picky. So just some stuff I've been just kind of thinking about and just kind of being all over the place with it. I just, I don't know. I don't think I'd be that picky about it. Anyway, comment below if you are plant-based out there, how do you reconcile this? Like, you know, how do you all deal with it? Because it's an issue, you know, it's definitely, it's a topic to be discussed. It's definitely a discussion worthy as far as like, you know, um, dating and um i don't know just coexisting i mean i definitely i'm sure there's people out there that cohabitate that are married and you know or at whatever the status of your relationship is that you know maybe one uh eats animal-based products one eats only plant-based like how do you reconcile that um 
you know, just for yourself. I, I just know for me, I definitely can't do like the mixture of the animal based, <laughs> you know, and my plant based lifestyle because it's for me, this is like an entire lifestyle. It's not just that, oh, I'm just, I just eat this and that's it. It's literally my entire lifestyle. So it's, it's something that I definitely um, think about often and kind of comes up sometime for me. And you know, this also comes up like, especially around the holidays where, you know, I get invited to come to places or not get invited. And <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm like, you know, after a while, will people stop inviting me because I'm just so difficult to accommodate? Um, because I don't know, I get, I feel like I'm so strict right now in my dietary needs that I just don't want to be like a turn off, you know, like, oh my God, you know, she's just so extra. I just cannot, you know, I mean, I don't know what she, she doesn't eat anything or, you know, like everything I try, it just is something she doesn't want. You know, I don't want to be like that person and feel like that I'm being that person, you know, just so difficult and every, it's just such hard work every time you encounter me, like that's just not who I am and it's just not who I want to be, you know. So anyway, you all comment below on how you all feel about this and, you know, your two cents. But getting on to, I know I've been like talking and talking, supposed to be going through this, um, <laughs> how I made my handmade bread. Okay, I got, you know, I just had to chat. I, I had to get that in because I haven't chatted in a while. But, you know, you all have seen, I put the, the instructions of what I've been doing. Now, this was started with my own starter, as I was telling you all before. It took me weeks to get that starter right, but I finally did get it right. And so I now I can use my starter every time I want to make bread, you know, like whenever I want to. I don't have to buy yeast. Well, first of all, that's not alkaline. And I made my own starter from whole spelt flour. And I use that as well to maintain it. And my bread, I use white spelt flour. So I try to, do, you know, I do what I can to keep it all the way alkaline. Um, so this is what I've done. This is the finished product. I'm so proud of my bread. It's come such a long way. I finally have nailed the texture. It's not like hard as a rock anymore. So this is my sourdough <laughs> and it is so uh, scrumptious. I use it for everything. Like I said, for the most part, all of my salty snack needs that I kind of have, you know, I've been using it for that. And I use it to make like different kind of sandwiches. Um, avocado toast which i'm gonna share on here you know i because honestly usually when i make when i first make the bread i do go ahead and make some avocado toast because normally i kind of have a schedule with this thing now so usually when i finish my loaf it's around breakfast time so i usually use it for some avocado toast because by the time i finish baking it it's about that time i'm hungry it smells good and i'm just thinking about okay i want some avocado toast <laughs> so today was no different but yes look how scrumptious so soft and oh my god it's just so good the taste i've nailed it now it doesn't taste like all extra grainy or just like a weird aftertaste none of that anymore i finally nailed it it literally tastes like the bread that you would be able to buy in the store and i don't buy bread anymore i just make my own and that's why i came back to do this video because i wanted to show you all how much it's improved since i think i showed you all before and it was so hard then i had a long way to go but quickly learn how to do this and i do this same process every time and i get the same good results every time so i hope you all you know if you're interested in making your own homemade bread do not be intimidated it is very intimidating at first but if I can do it, I know you can because this was hard <laughs> and I did waste a lot of bags of flour. Okay, I don't know how many five pound bags of flour I wasted before I finally got to this stage of being able to make this bread the way I can make it now. But it was worth it, you know, because in the end, I still feel like I will save money, you know, moving forward. I won't be buying all those loaves of bread. And I can kind of, you know, expand my horizons and try some different types of bread. You know, I have my starter, so I'm good to go. I can kind of make whatever I want. So yeah, this is just the beginning. I plan to learn how to make different types of bread. Um, 
you know, I definitely got to perfect my pizza though, because I do make pizza and I need to perfect that though, because it's not quite there. I think I was a little impatient last time I made a go of it. So I have to do that moving forward, just be more patient with myself with it. But I think I'm probably going to be able to nail it next time. It wasn't too bad last time I made it, but it could use a lot of improvement. So there it is. Made some avocado toast. Yummy. <laughs> it was so delicious. I mean, oh my gosh. I just needed a quick snack. So there it is. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be continuing to do my alkaline recipes. So continue to join me. Live well, eat well. Stay healthy, eat to live. Food is medicine. I got you. I love you all bunches and bunches and bunches. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so. Turn on your post notifications so you know what I post. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time. Sunflower smooches, peace and love. Mwah.